Good afternoon. This is old Greg wanting to share a little bit of fun with you guys here in western Indiana. Decided that maybe it was time I started showing everybody the progress I'm working on my Land Rover Discovery 2. I seem to keep running into people who have either somehow magically never seen this car that came out 20 years ago, or they just want to keep asking me what kind of Jeep it is to piss me off. But I figure it's either the latter. This is my 99 Land Rover Discovery 2. Honestly, one of the best cars I've ever owned. And some people are going to sit there and try to say, yeah, let's not own very many good cars. Well, I've owned every Jeep you can imagine. My Jeep Wagoneer was probably my favorite, but most unreliable car. But what can it be said? A V8 is a V8. You always love them regardless of how much they cost you, even though you go into bankruptcy trying to keep them fed and fueled and otherwise taken care of. But the Discovery series of Land Rover will always hold a special place in my heart. My stepfather came into my life when I was roughly 14 years old, and being a surprisingly good father and role model to me, considering my father abandoned me as a child, he helped me obtain a never-left-the-lot Discovery 2 in 2006. It was a 2004 model, $40,000. I worked my ass off to get that car. And it was stolen out of the driveway two days later by some ghetto-ass kids and found at the bottom of Fort Loudon Lake in Tennessee, which is where I'm from, is Knoxville. Shout out to the wonderful KPD out there and all the work they did to bring back my car. And the dead fucking, you know, catfish that was in the glove box. But insurance paid it out and the money went to pay off the house. And my car was longfully gone, so here I was in 2016 woefully needing a new car because reasons mostly because this one rolled over three times you know you go outside and you just happen to flip a car by accident but anyways the discovery series has always held a special place because of what it can do and some people will try to say these are unreliable they fall apart easy and frankly i say you know every car does when you don't take care of it the lady who owned mine before me really didn't understand taking care of cars my transmission had never been serviced in 18 years which i had to replace the transmission after the trip up here to tennessee i completely shredded it the service codes and everything else from land rover which they do log all these vehicles when they're serviced stated that the vehicle had never been serviced for a transmission oil change balancing or anything else of the tires and frankly, the more I dug into this car and the more work I did on it, the more I believed it. The plug wires are original. The spark plugs were the original factory ones direct from Land Rover. On top of that, when they pulled the transmission, they confirmed that the gaskets had never been taken out. The screws never removed and the bolts and everything were basically rusted in place. They'd never been taken off. 18 years for a transmission to die without any fluid added and no oil changes. So, of course, I did the best thing possible for a car that's this age and been taken care of as badly as this one had been. I put some Royal Purple in it, and it's never had anything else but Royal Purple. Transmission out of pocket was $840 after I rescued it from a supposed family friend who was going to fix it for cheap. And six months later, uh, bitching and complaining and otherwise complaining to my friends and family for rides, I finally got her back. But she's mine there's not many cars like them left and even land rover as much as i love you guys you haven't made a car that's managed to catch my eye in so long that it hurts most cars nowadays all look the same if you take the badges off i could take a subaru and pull the badges off and put a mercedes-benz badge on there and nobody know the difference there's no question when this drives by if you've ever seen a land rover this is a fucking Land Rover. You can't mistake it for a Jeep Commander. You can't mistake it for anything else. It is a Land Rover. It is that stage of luxury and off-road capability and fun. And that's what this car is to me. It's fun. It's comfortable to drive in the winter, and she's what I've always wanted to work on. Ever since mine was stolen, it really just left a place in my heart for another one. And when the chance came, I snatched her up. And some people would ask, do you I regret buying it? No. I've probably put $2,000 worth of work into it since I got it. And no, I don't regret it, actually. 
the car gets better every year and I'm getting ready to hopefully do a bunch of projects to it. New bumpers. I broke the bumper in a car accident with a deer. Because, you know, deer are such rare creatures here in Indiana. But the damage is superficial. I mean, you can't really tell unless I bring my cheap phone really close to it. But this is my Land Rover. There are many like it, but this is mine. And frankly, at the rate I'm going, uh, bankruptcy and death, I'll be buried in it. Because, you know, I can't afford a coffin. But for being 18 years old, she's got her spots where the paint's fading, and I did make the mistake of spray painting the hood, and was hoping to black it out. Yeah, I'm not going to put it us put it off anymore and pussyfoot around it. I'm going to do this right. I need A pillars, my B pillars need replaced, and I'm getting ready to paint the whole car. Which, I could not think of anything better to do, so Raptor Liner has provided a beautiful, beautiful emerald slash evergreen that we're going to paint the car with a black roof and black border at the bottom, two inch lift, steel bumpers with a really good between six and five thousand pound off-road uh, winch, and of course, when my friend gets done building it, the safari rack on the roof. But, really with these cars, they're like Jeeps. Jeeps are like these. When you love something, you want to work on it. A CJ7 is no different than a Discovery Defender. You want the best out of it. You want to put the best you can into it. So, if you guys want to be on this journey with me and watch me work on this, as well as taking on the adventures I plan on taking it on to the Badlands, up further into the United States, to the trying to hit every national park and state park possible. I want to see if I can't hit every last one of them. And that's the dream, is to take this on every off-road capability, every opportunity I get. You know, I've taken it to Nevada. It's been in the desert. I've taken her mud and she's never failed me. She's really been a dream car. And she still is my dream car. You couldn't offer me enough money to trade this car away at this time. But, YouTube, if you want to be a part of this and you want to see me do this or you want to make any options or give me any ideas on what I could do, why don't you shoot me an email or comment below and let me know what you think. Also, Fuck that car. <laughs>